Okay, alright, so now let's go to the one of the hardest part, which is actually the exponent and ln. But it can also be applied for number, power, and log. What do I mean by number, power? Something like, uh, sorry, sorry, not number, power. Like 2x or 5x. Okay, number, power of x. But no, 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 normally in exam, they will just ask you exponent and ln. How do you pronounce this? Ln. Don't come to me and say I n. Some some your seniors say that to me I n and I remember I shout directly Lon. <laughs> it's just like grammar error. <laughs> yeah, so let's begin. I'm going to teach it, I'm going to teach you as simple as possible. I, I do my best. Let's say, let's start with, some people complained last time, and I think too small. EX. EX is exponent. Exponential, yeah, you are right. What does exponent mean? Okay, how does a graph exponent looks like? Goes... Ups. In negative side, it stays low. Positive side, it suddenly rise up. It suddenly rise up. Exponent, you can also say uh, the graph, you can call it exponentially. It becomes adjective. It, it rise up, okay? In Melayu, what you say? Rise up secara? Not naik. Yeah, it goes up, naik. But secara mendadakan. We call it rise up exponentially. Okay, it means it suddenly rise up very, very high. You can even write it down in your English essay. It becomes exponentially difficult. Yes, you can. And even in fact, uh, maybe you're still young, so you're not used to it. My friends and I, we discuss things like that. Oh, the first half of running is easy, but the second half is exponentially harder. It's something that we use, adult use. Okay, here, what's this value here in the intercept? Intercept here, when x is what? x is 0, right? e is 0, 1. So here is 1. Okay, and what about this value here? It's less than, it will never go higher than that. It never go higher, it goes lower, but never touch 0. Never touch this line. Understand? So, the character of EX exponent is 1. It rise exponentially and it never touch 0. It goes lower than your intercept. How do we calculate that intercept? E0. 1. Are you okay? Here, there's a new term for you, which I forget the term. <laughs> it never touched zero, right? So this is the forbidden line. Is it horizontal or vertical? It's horizontal. Uh, sim. I, is there a P there? Oh, well, I check the letter. The grammar letter. Is this one right? Okay. This is x or y? Uh, sorry, that, that's a bad, that bad. At here, y is equal to what? y0, 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 okay? This line is y equals to 0. If you say x, uh, x, the value goes something like that. x1, x2, x3, x4. Here, Y0, Y1, Y2, Y4, and goes on. Okay? Here, Y is 0. So, horizontal asymptote, Y equals to 0. Alright? So, this is the character of EX. Just a little bit. Now, what about if I do something like this? EX... 
plus one. Shift up. Yes, you're right. So just now, maybe I should draw better next time. Instead of zero, instead of touching one, plus one becomes two. Okay? Instead of one here, intersect one, you know, it becomes two. Instead of just now, we are not touching zero, y equals to zero. Right now, we are not touching y equals to one. Okay? Instead of not touching zero, now we are not touching one. So your forbidden line is right now where? This is called what? Horizontal asymptote. Okay, it's too long. So from now on, I'm just going to say HA. And avoid me from the grammatical error. Spelling error, which I'm not sure right now. I'm smart. <laughs> right now, y equals to 1. Okay, so how does your graph look like? It never touched this one. Touch here too. And then what happened? Suddenly, it rise up. It rise up in what way? Exponentially. Are you okay? Understand that? Still easy? Life is good? We say already never easy. <laughs> Sorry, when it comes to graph, I become a bit sadistic. What about this? How does it look like? Minus 5, what does it mean? Oh, you cannot see the equation. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Minus 5, what does it mean? Shift down. By how much? So, where's the intercept? Minus 5? Just now, the intercept is at? 1, right? 1 minus 5? Negative 4. Just now, it doesn't touch the forbidden line? 0. Now, the forbidden line is at? Negative 5. This is your HA, Y equals to negative 5, not X. And then the graph goes to try negative 4, it goes up. Yes, uh, so, sorry, you need to label if you don't want to minus, lose your marks. Are you okay? Still surviving? Still alive? Very good. This is quite rare, but I do think I should include it. The next one is, this one is rare. EX plus 1. It's plus 1 up there. This is rare. Here, X is equal to, X, uh, here X equals to what? X zero, right? So E, when X equals to zero, E zero plus one, I got E one. X equals to zero, E zero plus one equals to E one. E equals to what? You can write down E here, I have no complaint about that, but hey, let's say you're a bit curious. And borrow if someone has calculator. That's E over there in your calculator. It's 2.73. Can I borrow black and silver? Black and silver. 2.7? 2. Two. Not 3? Ah. For black calculator, is E here. You see, on your lawn, that's E. I think you need to write down 1. Uh, 2.72. Ah, I got it wrong. I think it's the same for silver calculator. You need to write down E1. You write down E only yet. What? 
Oh, it goes automatic like that. Okay, all right, thank you. Okay, so the graph looks like how? What about the forbidden line? It's not shifted. It's just the intercept change. The forbidden line stays at zero. Try to do it as subtle as possible. But here it needs to rise up as much as possible. Okay, here it need to remain down. Are you guys okay? Stay alive? You understand so far? That's your normal graph. <laughs> Now, what about this? Yeah. Life is cruel. Let's do this one first. This one is here. The normal one is the X. Yeah, X, right? So the negative here means reflects up down. You okay? So this one here, the normal one is this. Oh, sorry, the yeah, X. So the negative, where is it? Terbalik which way? Left to right. And the other thing is to shift up, shift down. Everything's are the same. I don't think I'm going to hold you that long this week. So in short, draw me. Don't look at your notes. Don't look at your notes. You're not allowed to look at your notes. Draw me this, draw me this, draw me this, and finally double negative. <laughs> I give you one minute. Don't open your notes. You got the idea. If it's inside, it's left and right. If it's outside, it's up and down. Remember? Outside, up or down. Up or down, reflect. If it's inside, left or right. I'll end it here. I did not manage to go to lawn today. TX, how does it look like? How? What is here? One. E zero power one. This one is EX. E0 equals to 1, sorry. E negative X. Reflect where? Left, right. Sorry, my drawing is not good. Ouch. Not down, okay? Supposed to touch on the same place. E negative X. Now, what about this one? You reflect this one. Original. And finally. This one, how does it look like? The blue. Okay. 
Then outside, what does it do? It flags down. I forgot to ask, what is this? Negative one. How you get negative one, sir? Well, let's say this one here. Negative e x. Here x equals to zero. And x equals to zero. Negative e zero. Negative one. Okay. I think I uh, stop that for today. Thank you very much. Okay, sorry, something I forget. Something I forget. What's the domain and range? Okay, this one equals to negative infinity. The axis is negative infinity until positive infinity. So domain is all real number. What about the range? Aha, it goes below one. Zero until? But does it touch zero? So square or open? Okay, what about this one? Here x plus one. What's the domain? Domain is the same or real number. What about range? One until infinity. Open or close? Why open? It never touch one. Now, what about E negative X? This blue. Domain? It touch all the x-axis, all real numbers. What about the range? Zero until open. What about this one here? Domain, all real number, range. Zero until open or close? Open. You lose one marks. Yes. Negative infinity. Zero. So the conclusion that you can say is for exponent, the domain is what? All real numbers. Okay? And the uh, the range, I can say, well, it depends whether it's infinity or negative infinity. So, from forbidden line to infinity or negative infinity until forbidden line. Alright, that's the conclusion. Thank you. Bye.